It's almost time for another exciting NFL clash, and EA Sports is proud to bring it to you. Welcome to Philadelphia. Tom Hammond here, folks, with my partner, Chris Collinsworth. Thanks for joining us for this NFC East showdown. Tom, this is the oldest rivalry in the NFC East, and there's just something special about these two teams when they get together. I think it's the two cities. The two cities are rivals, and that means the two football teams, they have to be. We have perfect weather today, clear and mild, great for football. This game is presented by Snickers, who reminds you to be a champion. From his own goal line, He's tackled at the 26-yard line. They'll start this drive at the 26-yard line. The pass is away. Everything seemed to work perfectly on that one. And that's a pattern that this team likes to run. You know they've been studying that all week on film, and yet they still can't stop it. is there for the catch. They lose a yard there. That play was really all about defensive pursuit. They saw the ball thrown. They got there quickly for a loss on the play. Jacobs on the give. The tackle was made by Sean Jones. Jacobs picks up five yards with the carry. Short pass, there for the catch. Receivers who can make plays like that on third down tend to have nice, long careers. They're gonna pitch it. Stays on his feet. And let's give credit to the defense. They had a great push there. They got in the backfield, took control of their own gaps. Passes the ball. The stop was made by Dem. The Giants are having some success getting the ball down the field on this drive. This offense is clicking. Gets the ball away. He hasn't missed a pass on this drive. You can tell these guys practice that play quite a bit. Yeah, I can remember hearing stories about uh, old-time players in the NFL that literally they could go out in the pitch black and make throws and catches without really even seeing the ball. That's the kind of timing we're seeing today. Jacobs gains about five yards on the run. Pass is complete. Samuel is there to bring him down. Maybe a yard on that completion. And this is the 10th play of the drive. The defense has him surrounded. It's incomplete. Under pressure, he felt the heat that time and was forced to throw it away quickly. And he makes it. Here's your sprint drive summary. The New York Giants put up the game's first point. Gets to about the 24. First drives of the game, in my opinion, are just so important. It just sets the tempo for the entire game. I tend to want to go opposite my game plan. If I think that I can run the football against the defense, I tend to come out and want to throw it early to make them back up a little bit. Westbrook gets about a yard on the play. He gets popped as he throws. 
Just missed that time, bringing him down for a sack, but great pressure to force an incompletion. Gets the pass away. So we'll probably see the punt team now after that incompletion as the offense goes three and out. Now that series just never seemed to get off the ground. Nothing they tried there seemed to work. Gets to about the 47. The Giants offense has to be little disappointed with how that last drive ended to move the ball that effectively and only come away with three points. Gets the pass away. Hakeem Nix brings in his 30th catch of the season. Passes it. Brown gets the pick. And there's no question they were sitting on that one. That is one of the bread and butter pass plays of this offense. They've been working against it all week. And that was a special little trick there that came up with the interception. Just gets it off. Tackle was made by Phillips. There really is so much the key to football. You talk all the time about you have to establish the run. Well, there you see why you establish the run, and then you come with the play-action pass. It's so hard to defend. The stop was made by Michael Bowling. Westbrook comes away with two yards on the carry. Gets the pass off. He leaves. It's caught. Phillips was there on the tackle. The Eagles are getting on a bit of a roll here. Nice play calling and good execution. The defense looks a little confused right now. Gets hit, and it's intercepted. And sometimes pressure is cumulative. Over the course of a day, over the course of a season, that pressure starts to get there. You rush a throw and you turn it over. Short throw to the right. Asante Samuel was there to bring him down. They were trying to work that ball down the field. There really wasn't anything there. They dump it off and not much underneath either. Manning hands it off. And he makes it out to about the 41-yard line before he's hit and dropped. And it's knocked down. Mike Patterson was defending on the play. Not so much a bad pass as a bad decision. He saw the coverage there, simply had to go to the next receiver. He didn't make the right move. It'll go out at the 37-yard line. The Eagles suffered an interception on their last possession. Hands it off. Still going. He makes his way to about the 48. Phillips was there on the tackle. Moves to his right. Delivers to the halfback on the screen. We'll get our first flag of the game. And this one looks like it's going to come back. Holding offense. First and long now after the penalty. He throws left, brings it in. Yeah, really not much a defense can do when you get a guy that can throw the football like that. You know, you get your 
themselves in position defensively. You think you're in the right spot. You're going to make a play. And a guy makes a throw like that and you go, hey, that's a good throw. He gets away, still looking downfield. Four yards on that play, and that makes it third down. Passive. It's tip. Selleck was the intended receiver on the play. Rokat is back to punt. He'll try to keep this one out of the end zone. Brought down at the 47-yard line. The Giants will set up shop at the 47-yard line. Throws it out. Makes the catch. The tackle was made by Quentin McHale. Nice play that time. The defense came with the blitz there. He made a good read, delivered a nice ball in there to the open man. Here's the throw. He makes another reception on the drive. Boss is able to make his fourth reception. They keep it on the ground with the tailback. Jacobs comes away with five yards on the carry. Here's the halfback. Stiff arms, and the defender still makes the tackle. Jacobs gains around three yards on the run. was made by Jordan. Jacobs does a great job to get free and pick up the first. Again with the run. He's tackled at the three by Jordan. Just gets it away. Pass rush almost got there that time, and uh, he has to feel a little lucky that that ball just fell harmlessly to the turf. And they're coming after him. Drops the sure pick, and it'll be fourth down following the pass deflection. I don't know if that's the guy I want to pick on on third down when you have to have a conversion. He is tough. He's got it. Here's a look at the drive summary presented by Sprint. Taken at the five. Still working. Hit and dropped at the 30. The offense will start at the 30. Westbrook gets the call. Johnson was there to bring him down. Westbrook gains about five yards on the run. Doc Reed gets his hands on him and drags him down for a loss at the 33. Throws it short. Can't stay in bounds. Incomplete pass. And that would have been a spectacular catch if he'd been able to come up with that one. Just thrown a little bit too far outside. Or entry to the lot will not be permitted. No refunds will be issued. Please note He makes it out to the 36. The Giants take the field, looking to put together a scoring drive. They came away with three the last time out. it off. At the 30. To the 10. Touchdown Giants. 
The Giants oh, get the dang. first touchdown of the game. Wow, when you think about all the great athletes that are on the field in an NFL game, it is just amazing to watch one guy weave his way down the field for a touchdown like that. Lawrence Tynes is good on the point after. Let's take a look at the sprint drive summary. Gathered at the six. He gets this one to the 26 yard line. The offense really needs to get something going on this series. Maybe even just a field goal on the board is enough to get them jump started. Here's the give. He's dropped for a loss. And as a quarterback, you have to start to recognize that. You just can't allow that safety to keep sniffing around that eighth man in the box and not throw the football. Essentially, they're daring this offense to throw it, and they're not taking advantage. Aaron Ross had the coverage on the play. Halfback screen. The Giants were flying to the ball on that series. There's no way they were going to let him get a first down. Smith is back deep to return. Brought down at the 32-yard line. The Giants offensively looking pretty strong right now. And they've got the look of a team who may be going in for the kill here. Too early to entirely put it away, but a touchdown would certainly be tough to overcome. Jacobs picks up five yards with the carry. It's a big one now. It's a big one. Throws it short, and it's completed. When you're trying to blitz the quarterback, you better have some talented corners on the outside because as a wideout, just give me three or four seconds against the blitz. And it is awfully tough to try and cover that. Manning with the give. Patterson makes the tackle. A pickup of about three. And Tom, that was because the defense filled up all the gaps. The back was looking for somewhere to run, but by bringing the run blitz, they took away all the holes and stopped them for a minimal game. Comes down with it. The stop was made by Hanson. You know, that's not one of those plays that's a huge gain by any means, but that's really the essence of an offensive game plan. You have to start hitting some of those short, intermediate routes, and that begins to open everything else up. Tackle was made by Sheldon Brown. Yeah, when you see the blitz, you have to understand your own protections because if your protection is sliding away from the blitz, you have no choice but to get it out of there to the hot receiver. Moves up, throws it, Bradley has it. Touchdown. And I like the way he extended for the ball there. He didn't wait for that ball to come to him. He extended his arms, went out, and made a play. Matt Stobert is good on the point after. Here's your sprint drive summary. He'll return it from the three. He's tackled at the 27. The defense is coming off that big play just a moment ago, so the momentum is on their side. Gives to the back. The stop was made by Gordon. Bradshaw gets his first carry of the game. He throws short. Still on his feet. Eli Manning eclipses the 2,500-yard mark on the last play.
He's running out of time. Patterson picks it up. Inside the 30. To the 10. Touchdown, Philly. Do you know how hard it is to scoop up one of those loose fumbles on the run, maintain possession, and get it in the end zone? What a great athletic play. Matt Stobert makes it a one-point game. Here's a look at the drive summary presented by Sprint. Gathered at the six. That was a great hit. He wasn't getting away from that one. It was a tough series last time out, giving up the fumble and the touchdown on the same play. Will they bounce back here? Dumps it out left. Jones makes the tackle. Yeah, the defense came with pressure, but they couldn't quite get to the quarterback, and they paid a price. He got it out there, picked up a nice game. Jacobs, the ball carrier. Brandon Jacobs gets the 1,000-yard milestone on that carry. What a solid season he's had. He's still going. Quentin McKell is there on the tackle. Brandon Jacobs really has a special sense of how a play is developing, and he knows the blocking assignments of those guys up front. You can just see it. He is very patient. He waits for it to develop and then takes full advantage. Throws it. Leaping catch. Demps makes the tackle. The Giants are putting together a good-looking drive here. That's their third first down. Short throw to the right. Boss has six catches now. Short yardage situation here, second and a yard. He throws right, and he's out of bounds, incomplete. Yeah, he put a little too much on that pass and forced the receiver to make the catch out of bounds. to the end zone. The Giants cap off the seven-play drive with a trip to the end zone. Eli Manning really delivered the goods that time. Wow, he made the perfect choice, and now they're celebrating six points. Tynes is good on the point after. Let's take a look at the sprint drive summary. Gathered at the six. Brought down at the 33-yard line. They'll start at the 33. Feeds it to the back. He's hammered in the backfield. The Eagles are not doing a good job at all on the ground so far. They need to somehow get that turned around because if you can't run it, boy, it is tough to throw the football. to his left. Good job all the way around by the defense that time. Not only did they have the deep routes completely covered there, but they also had the check down well within their grasp. Here's the pass. He's there for the catch. The Giants came onto the field with a ton of energy that time. They controlled the line of scrimmage and didn't allow that extra yardage. Smith takes it at the 23. They get him at the 28-yard line. The Giants took full advantage of their last offensive opportunity with that touchdown. Now we'll see if they can extend that lead with this drive. Gets the pass out. 
he gunned that one in there for the first down, didn't he? He really did. And when you watch a guy throw a ball that hard, they don't move their arm any faster. You see him driving off that back leg. That was a pretty pass. Good pressure that time, and they forced a bad throw. Not much he could have done with the pocket collapsing like that. Pitch out. He can't bring him down. Jacobs comes away with two yards on the carry. Rolls right. And he caught it. Brown was there to bring him down. The defense just didn't match up well on that play. Yeah, tough to match up one-on-one -on -one in man coverage against that wide receiver. He's pretty good. Trent Cole was there on the tackle. They line up at the 36. Gives to the back. Won't be stopped. Jacobs picks up five yards with the carry. Very disappointing for an offense to get a completion and not get the first down. The receiver's job there is to make somebody miss. Clearly have to give the defense credit there. They won. And that was not an easy kick, Chris. Yeah, it looked like a little adrenaline kicked in on that one, didn't it? Maybe even surprised him how far he hit that one. Demps fields it at the seven. Brought down at the 34-yard line. It's only a two-possession game, but still, they need to get their offense going before things start to get out of hand here. <laughs> Dumps it out right. Antonio Pierce makes the tackle. Just keeps the ball moving down the field. Six-yard gain and a uh, little progress. Passes it out. Webster intercepts it. To the 20. To the 10. Touchdown, New York. And just like that, they make it a two-possession game. What a tremendous return that was. And even better, now you have a little breathing room when you look up at that scoreboard. Lawrence Times is good on the point after. Here's your sprint drive summary. It's fielded at the two. Flag on the play. And that flag was thrown in the area of holding. The Eagles will begin this drive at the 18-yard line. Slides down. Yeah, and the key is making that first pass rusher miss you. More often than not, there's one guy in your way. You can make that first guy miss. A lot of times those defenders have their backs turned and are running away from you. What happened there? Well, the defense was in zone coverage. They got good pass protection, and anytime that happens, it tends to really stretch those zones and widen the holes. He passes short. Antonio Pierce was there slow, on the tackle. Slow, slow. Brian Westbrook now with four catches in the game. The pass is away. He's dropped at the 50 by Corey Webster. Donovan McNabb is really feeling it right now. He's got the hot hand, and you know normally he's not a guy that's going to hit a bunch of passes in a row, but he's hot right now. Short throw to the right. Can't hang on. Chris Canty was defending on the play. Second 
Rolling right. Has time. He's dropped. The Eagles will take their second time out of the half. Not much time to throw. He goes up high for the catch. Wright was there to bring him down. Macklin makes his third catch of the game. He throws left. Touchdown, Philly. The Philadelphia Eagles go nearly 80 yards in eight plays for the score. Donovan McNabb is not a quarterback that's going to make too many mistakes against the blitz. So when you bring pressure, you are really rolling the dice because the flip side of that is big plays, and you saw one there. Bradshaw fields it at the one. Drop at the 30. They'll start at the 30. Sheldon Brown makes the tackle. As a quarterback, you really want to make that pre-snap read, and it's kind of hard to not see the middle linebacker. He came on the blitz that time, and sometimes you just need to get out of a play like that. We'll take you to the studio now for halftime. Welcome to the halftime show. Let's get you caught up on what's happening around the league. Check out the scores from around the league. Check out who's making noise around the NFL. Barber has rushed for over 150 yards. Here's a look at the first half stats. Both teams moved the ball very well in the first half. Jacobs has rushed for over 100 yards. New York leads it by nine. Here are the highlights from your game. second half is about to begin. Enjoy the rest of the game. Welcome back to Philadelphia. From his own goal line. At the 30. At the 40. At the 40. At the 30. He's down the sideline. Touchdown, Eagles. Having a kickoff return guy that can return at the distance is such a huge advantage for a team. That's why you're seeing more and more teams around the league drafting guys that can take it to the house. Matt Stover tacks on the extra point. Here's a look at the drive summary presented by Sprint. Bradshaw fields it at the two. He gets this one to the 26-yard line. The Giants will start this drive at the 26-yard line. Passes the ball. 
That incompletion will bring up second down. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 26. On the ground with a tailback. He lost yardage on the play. You know, listen, I would never want to block a defensive lineman. So, I, you know, I've seen these guys. I know these guys. They're big and they're nasty. But at least from an offensive standpoint, you have to try to get in the way. Gets the ball away. Right through his hands, he almost had the pick. Fourth down now after that incomplete pass. The offense wasn't able to get on track during that last series. There's nothing more frustrating for an offense to come in and go three and out. That's just embarrassing. Jackson fields it at the 38. He's tackled at the 44-yard line. They'll get the ball here at the 44-yard line. Slides down to the ground. Boy, in that kind of situation, you just think that if they're going to pick up the first down on you, they're going to have to do it throwing the football. But that time, the quarterback got out in the open field and got it done. Here's the give. He gets out to about the 42-yard line. Corey Webster is there on the tackle. Delivers to the halfback on the screen. To the 10. Touchdown, they Philly. Think, the think, Philadelphia think, Eagles think, drove it 55 yards on three plays. Donovan McNabb is really just born to play this position. He has great instincts, good arm strength, throws such a nice ball. And all of his teammates really trust him. They know they can count on him to do everything within his power to win the game. Great job there. They were able to convert. And you could tell the offense had a plan throughout that drive. Not only did they get the touchdown, but they immediately got the call in for the two-point conversion. They knew exactly what they wanted to do and executed it perfectly. Let's take a look at the sprint drive summary. They couldn't do anything against this defense on their last drive, and they were forced to punt. They'll work the left side. Man, that ain't made no sense. Tip arms, and he's brought down. They grab eight yards there, and that will bring up second down. Two yards away here on second down. On the ground with a tailback. The tackle was made by Bradley. Third down now. They'll need a couple of yards to convert for a first down. Gets the pass away. There for the reception. Nicks with his fifth grab of the game. He throws right. Makes a cut. And he will be hit and dropped. Smith makes his third catch of the game. Is there for the cat. Still pushing. Looked like someone got caught holding. Here's the official call. So the penalty puts him back for a first and long. Gets the pass away. Tips it away. Second down coming up after the incomplete pass. Dumps it out right. Out of bounds, incomplete. McKell had the coverage on the play. Deep pass to the end zone. 
Knocked loose. Moss takes a shot. Good defense. Yeah, he got rocked and the ball rolled. There was nothing left after that hit. It's off the upright and good. Here's your sprint drive summary. Demps fields it at the 7. Brought down at the 32-yard line. The Eagles will take over on offense now, looking to control the clock a little bit and keep the other offense on the sidelines. Now that they have a lead, they'll look to try and maintain and control it. On the ground with a tailback. Pierce is there on the tackle. Maybe got a couple of yards, but that's about it. Well, that time the outside linebacker came on the run blitz. They got some penetration and shut down the play. Oh, yeah. They'll work the right side. From their own 34-yard line. Another run. Tackle was made by Bernard. Well, I'm sure the defense was caught a little off guard by that run call there, but if you're going to call run there, you better pick up a first down or you're going to be reading about it in the newspaper the next day. Smith fields it at the 22. Takes it out to the 32. The Giants were able to score on that last series, but just a field goal, and sometimes those are actually momentum shifters for the defense. Throws it short. There for the catch. Nine catches on the game now. Safe to say he's been a major part of their game plan in this one. Gives to the back. Jordan will tackle him for a loss at the 37-yard line. Passes it. Pass is complete. The stop was made by Clinton McHale. Eli Manning has made some great throws in this one, finding plenty of holes in the secondary on his way to over 300 yards. They hand it off. Bradley was there on the tackle. An eight-yard gain. You know you have a pretty special player at the running back position when despite the fact that they're run blitzing him now, he can still get out of there and still come up with a nice game. Pass falls incomplete. Hakeem Nix was his intended target. Well, you can't just stare down one receiver on a play like that. The defense is going to be all over it. He was lucky he didn't get picked off there. The Giants had a good first half running the ball, and it looks like they're going to continue doing the same in the second half. Manning hands it off straight ahead. And I have a feeling this one's coming back. So first down once again, but a long ways to go following the penalty. Gets the pass off. Brings it in. Ellis Hobbs was there to bring him down. And this is play number eight on this drive. Defense closing in. No completion. Well, you could see the receiver doing all he could to keep his feet in bounds, but that pass just let him out of bounds. Hit as he passes. When you get that kind of pressure, a lot of times the play will result in something worse than just an incompletion. He missed it. Let's go. Let's dominate this. The Eagles will set up shop at the 38. 
He rolls right. It's broken up. They can't complete the pass, and now the offense will be looking at second down. Here's the give. Bernard is there on the tackle. Short throw to the right. Almost picked. The defense had their number during that last series as they go three and out. Yeah, they just kind of looked out of sync from the very beginning there, and I thought first down really set the tone for that entire series. Brought down just as he caught it. They'll get the ball here at the 28-yard line. Passive. Broken up. That incompletion will bring up second down. He throws right. Tackle was made by Parker. Hedgecock with his third reception. Good game through the air will set him up with another first and ten. Short throw to the left. Mays was defending on the play. Manning hands it off straight ahead. Jacobs gains about four yards on the play. Throws it out. Makes the catch. The stop was made by Joe. This rookie receiver is really making an impression here today. Already 100 yards, and he's done it in a lot of different ways. Gets it off. Four yards on that play. That brings up second down. Here's the throw, and it's completed. Catches it, and he's dropped. And he went way up to snag that one. That was a pretty catch. Jacobs on the inside handoff. No official signal yet. After discussing it, they rule no touchdown. They go with the run. Boy, this has just been a good football game. Offensively, that was a nice drive to take the lead back, and we are still going to have one of those tremendous finishes here. New York is up by four. Still on his feet. Brought down at the 27-yard line. Personal foul, face mask, defense. The offense will take over at the 42. Bring it up, bring it up, bring it up! And that flag was thrown in the area of holes. First and long now after the penalty. Throws it. Comes down with it. 
And that's good quarterback play. He recognized the blitz. He understood what was happening with the coverage behind it and found the open man. They'll give it off here. He'll be brought down behind the line of scrimmage. Yeah, it really just throws you off rhythm to have a play that gains nothing. You know, you're usually you're going to get something, two, three, four yards, and it keeps you in that rhythm. But when a defense makes a play like that, it really throws your offense off. They can't bring him down. Did he get there? We'll have a measurement. The ref signals that they're just a little short. It's third down now, just about the length of the football away from the first down marker. Pretty tight game as we head to the fourth. Our score, the Giants, 40, the Eagles, 36. short. He makes another catch. Macklin lost the ball. They'll pile up for it. Not a smart move by the defender. Looked like he might have just been flagged for interference. From the 30-yard line. Flips it out short. The tackle was made by Antonio Pierce. Donovan McNabb ups his passing yardage to over 2,500 with that last completion. I need to get my swag right there. <laughs> Throws it. Drops the easy pick. And now the offense will be faced with a third down situation. about it, man, but you got to Antonio Pierce was man. there to bring him down. Looked like one of those old-fashioned rugby scrums there. A lot of big bodies piled together and nowhere for the running back to go. Runs over tackling. They didn't get it. And so many times you hear offensive coordinators criticize because they don't try to run the football enough. But when you get stuffed in the backfield like that, you understand why they would rather call the pass play. The halfback with the carry. Still on his feet. Jacobs gets about four yards on the play. Here's the pass. The tackle was made by McKell. He's simply putting on a passing clinic out there. Yeah, and this defense should have to pay for admission to this clinic because I tell you what, he is teaching them a thing or two about playing offensive football. No matter what this defense does to try to stop them, they simply cannot. Well, when you have a talented running back like this, you always have to account for him. That time, a nice play-action pass, open it up down the field. He breaks the tackle. And they really ran right into the blitz. That's a time that a veteran quarterback should have changed the play at the line of scrimmage. You could see the blitz coming. He didn't audible and only came away with a short game. On the ground with a tailback. He gets to about the 34-yard line. Cole was there on the tackle. From the 34-yard line. Gets the pass out. He's there for the catch. Asante Samuel makes the tackle. Mixed with seven catches now. Bradshaw, the ball carrier. Stiff arm. Bradshaw gets seven yards on the play. 
And this is the eighth play of the drive. Again, he'll get the call. This is close. They'll bring out the chains. The ref signals that they're just a little short. This is the ninth play of this drive. And they'll run him again. Parker will tackle him for a loss at the 13. And when the defense gets that kind of penetration, it just disrupts everything for an offense. They have to get that guy blocked. It's good. Here's a look at the drive summary presented by Sprint. So that will make the score the New York Giants 43, the Eagles 36. Still going. Brought down at the 30. They turned it over on downs their last time out. The defense has him surrounded. McNabb fumbles it. Fight for the loose ball. Who's got it? Westbrook grabs it up. The Eagles win the battle, and they'll keep possession. Heads up play to get that ball back for the offense. That one really could have gone either way. Well, the defense didn't get the sack, but they got the next best thing, and that was a bad throw. Cuts back, and he's dropped. The Giants did a good job forcing a three and out. Anytime a defense can come up with three solid plays in a row like that, you know they are right on schedule. Smith fields it at the 27. Hit and dropped at the 32-yard line. They'll start at the 32-yard line. 60 minutes. Hit up to the tailback. Jordan tackles him for a loss at the 32. Looks like he had it, but it's knocked loose. Bradley had the coverage on the play. Brought down behind the line. What about that play? Well, I always like to see an offense stay aggressive, I guess, but at least in this situation, it's a fourth quarter, you have the lead, I can understand the call. Brings this one back to the 37-yard line. They were forced to punt on their last drive. On the ground with a tailback. Canty was there to bring him down. Passes it out into traffic, and it's picked off. Westbrook is there on the tackle. Again, it looked like there was a little miscommunication on that interception. In the NFL, the quarterback's primary responsibility is to maintain possession of the ball. Don't give it away. He's the most trusted guy on the field, and today he's looking shaky. A gain of three yards. The defense did a nice job there jamming the running back, bringing the outside linebacker on a blitz. Sometimes those outside backers a little more athletic right, can right, really right, help right. stop the run. Throws it short. There for the reception. All right, all right, all right. This is close. They'll bring out the chains. Hey, hey, we can't hear the 
The signal is a first down. He'll try the end zone. Quentin McHale was defending on the play. They line up at the 24. <laughs> Jacobs gets the carry. The tackle was made by Ellis Hobbs. Jacobs picks up about seven yards on the run. The offense needs about three yards to get the first here on third down. The pass is away. Tipped pass. And the pass will fall incomplete. Fourth down coming up. Just terrific play by the defense. They followed the quarterback's eyes, made a quick jump on the ball, and were all over that one. And I have a feeling this one's coming back. Holding offense. The penalty is declined. The Eagles will begin this drive at the 24-yard line. Is there for the catch. He's going to be tackled for a loss. Westbrook makes his seventh grab of the game. Canty was there on the tackle. Passing in this situation seems like it would have been a better idea. Passing in every situation seems to me like it would be a better idea, but when you have the clock working against you like this, it's time to put it up. He needs to get the pass off. Whoa, that was really lucky. That one wasn't picked off. Not a good decision at all there. Drop at the 33-yard line. This offense was frustrated after their last drive ended with a missed field goal. Gets it off. He gets out to about the 35-yard line before he gets taken down. Second and eight coming up here. tackle they get three yards on the play well that was the perfect time for them to call a blitz they got in there filled up all the gaps brought down the running back for a short game third and five Two minutes remaining in the fourth quarter. Feeds it to the back. He fights forward to about the 40. Bradley was there on the tackle. And it's not very often that I get really excited about defensive line play, but that time the guys up front on defense were just overpowering. He makes it out to the 34-yard line. 
All right, big moment in the game now. They've got to get this thing in the end zone. I expect to see the two-minute offense, but you don't have to be in the hurry-up offense. Just get to the line of scrimmage, take the short throws that most defenses will give you in this situation. Don't be afraid to use the middle of the field. You have time. Macklin has seven catches in the game. He throws left. Second down coming up after the incomplete pass. Second down. Short pass to his left. This is close. They'll bring out the chains. They're just inches short. The Eagles call for a timeout. That was their second timeout. Passes the ball. He catches another. Macklin with his eighth reception. to the back. Brian Westbrook now has eight catches in the game. Gets the ball away. Matthias Kiwanuka makes the tackle. They'll hurry back to the line. Goes for the end zone. The defender gets a hand on it, and that will bring up fourth down. And those are the kind of big third down plays you have to have on defense to get the ball back and give your team a chance on offense. Passes to the end zone. McNabb has done an excellent job of leading the aerial attack in this one, racking up over 300 yards through the air. The extra point to tie this game up. Extra point is good. Let's take a look at the sprint drive summary. At the 30. Drop at the 36-yard line. Decision time now. Do you play it conservatively and play for overtime, or do you take your shot to win it all? I say take off your wingtip shoes and go for it. That is not good. Gets the pass away. Tipped it away. That incompletion will bring up second down. Short throw. Breaks a tackle. The Giants call a timeout, and they'll have two remaining. Passes on the move. Eli Manning has been finding receivers all game long. He now has 500 yards passing in the game. The booth wants to give the officials another opportunity to see if the receiver really trapped the ball. And this is really what instant replay was supposed to do. It was supposed to be an extra set of eyes for those officials on the field because, you know, we've got all kinds of angles in television, After different views, and sometimes play, it's hard for us. So this is just an ball. extra tool for the officials to use. After further review, they'll give him the catch. And it really just goes to show how nice a catch that was. He was able to get his hands underneath that football and keep it off the ground, but more importantly, maintain possession. New York up seven points. New York is just about ready to kick this one away. Demps and Booker look ready to return this one. Ingram feels it at the 35. 
Johnson is there on the tackle. The offense will start at the 49-yard line. Makes the short throw. That tackle just sealed the deal. That'll do it from the field. We have top plays and stats coming up next, so stay right there.